Page 3 now, safe spaces on campus. Apparently, a majority of college kids are in favor of curtailing free speech on Halloween. According to the College Pulse polling, fully 51% of university students support punishing their peers who wear, quote, highly offensive costumes on Halloween. They want to punish them. Stunning. Here's the question for these snowflakes. Who decides what is highly offensive? Hmm? Is it you? Is it school's administration? Is it the PC police? Clearly, what's being lost in all of this is this pesky thing called the First Amendment. And all of this anti-constitutional nonsense is the motivating factor behind a new documentary called No Safe Spaces. Joining me now from Los Angeles, producer and director of No Safe Spaces, John Sullivan. John, this is the mindset, unfortunately, that's flourishing on college campuses right now, and that is shut down any kind of speech that offends somebody. Shut down any kind of speech that is opposite of what that person's beliefs are. And this is the motivating factor, really, the theme behind the new film, the documentary that's released right now. I've never said this on national television before, but I'm going to say it right now for you. Now in theaters. I've always wanted to say that, John. <laughs> well, Graham, thank you for having me on. And yeah, we're in scary times right now with uh, what's going on with the First Amendment and free speech. You know, a uh, new poll just came out. You, you referenced something similar to this, but 50% of people are talking about changing the First Amendment uh, so that it can protect speech and you can banish speech and censor it. We've never been in this place before in America. This is the place where we started saying, you the king, our King George, you are wrong. This is where this started. This is fundamental to who we are. It's our personal sovereignty, and it start, starts there. And this is what the movie explores and why it's accelerating so fast. And this feature documentary is now in theaters, although it's populating uh, over the next couple of weeks in, in other regions of the country. But it's, this documentary is now in theaters right now uh, in Arizona. It's being screened right now in Arizona. Uh, but the amazing thing is, among some of the states... Uh, that this is being shown in are not so red states, but very blue states like California and Colorado and even Minnesota. How did you pull that off? Oh, uh, great question. But the good thing there is we still have patriots that care about the First Amendment, and I think they want to expose their kids and their grandkids um, that are in these colleges and high schools to the fact that the First Amendment matters. And if somebody shuts them, somebody up today, they're going to be shut up tomorrow. And that's what we have to remember is that just as you said, is, you know, who decides what is, you know, hate speech or free speech uh, in these manners? And that's what we explore in the film. And what I'm very proud of in the film is that we have right and left in the film. We even saw yesterday President Obama came out and supported free speech and said, you know, you can't have this woke culture. So even the left is starting to wake up a little bit to this fact that this has gone too far in what's being said. So I would take that as an endorsement of your film by Barack Obama, kind of a backdoor, backhanded uh, endorsement. So you can advertise it that way. You have my permission to do that, uh, John. I want to roll just a few seconds of the documentary roll tape. You have the right to remain silent. The only way we separate the good ideas from the bad ideas is to be free to say whatever we want about them. Anything you say will be used against you. There's no free speech for fascists. Your posts on Facebook, Twitter, and social media will be saved to share. And so why is this so important? Well, I think it's important for this generation and future generations, isn't it? Because effectively we've gone from the baby boom generation to the crybaby generation if we allow this to continue. Plus, it's a wholesale assault on the Constitution of the United States. Absolutely. There's no other way around it. And it is politically motivated because, you know, you have to... to to have ideas win, you have to debate them, or you can shut people up to have those ideas win because nobody ever hears the contrary ideas to them. You know, we're in a very dangerous place right now. I think what the movie shows people more than anything else is how this is accelerating and it's getting off the college campuses. It's hitting the airwaves. It's hitting Facebook, Twitter. Um, you know, we just had an artist shut down yesterday off of PayPal so that he can no longer take uh, account, a political artist uh, named Sabo. Sabo. So this is happening right now, and it's going to be happening to more people. You know, it's happening to gun manufacturers. Bank accounts are being taken away. This is all related in this sense. So, you know, if we don't stand up and do something, our Constitution will be gone. And, and, and the solution, the problem is, John, we created it. I mean, let's face it. Our generation allowed this to happen on college campuses, allowed it to infiltrate the mindset of this new generation here and so we need to fix it so how does it get fixed well 
in the end, by exposing, like you are exposing it, and then activating parents and people who are in the driver's seat to uh, affect change, especially on college campuses, by withholding any kind of donations to any kind of universities that, that pull this kind of crap on these young people and the future generations of America. John, congratulations and thank you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.